This is crazy. It's always just been the kind of thing that you see in the Jetsons or sci-fi movies, you know, flying cars zipping around the city. And now we're possibly just a few years from having a fleet of flying taxis here. And it may happen much, much sooner than you think. Now there's been a lot of talk about bringing air taxis to Australia. In 2019, Uber announced that Melbourne would be the first city outside the US to have Uber air services, with test flights planned for 2020 and full commercial operations planned to start in 2023. Those plans were abandoned in 2020 and Uber sold off its entire air mobility division. Another company, a Brazilian company called Embraer, 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 I, I don't know, this, is planning to take flying taxis to Melbourne by 2026. But recent events indicate that Melbourne may actually not be Australia's first. Just over a week ago, the company Skyports announced plans to build an air transport hub in Greater Brisbane, specifically in Petrie in the Moreton Bay local government area. The proposed development, which will manufacture air taxis, but also serve as a hub for air taxi services, is due to be completed in 2023. That's just two years away. The company has been buying properties all around Australia, about 400 so far, that it plans to transform into mini airports. They also have an agreement with the American electric air mobility company Electra for around 100 electric air taxis to begin operations in Australia. Electra is also working with the US Air Force to develop similar kinds of electric aircraft. The aircraft employ ultra-short takeoff and landing technology, which means that rooftops can actually function as mini airports for the air taxis. Being electric powered makes the air taxis a lot more environmentally friendly and also much quieter than traditional aircraft. There's a lot of talk around Skyport's air taxis being a viable way to get around during the 2032 Brisbane Olympics. But how soon can we actually expect to see them in Brisbane skies? And more importantly, how much will a ride cost? While the aircraft are due for flight testing in the US in 2032, local restrictions here in Australia will need to change to actually accommodate this new type of aircraft. In 2018, the Civil Aviation Safety Authority said that airborne rideshare would be feasible within five years, putting it at 2023. And Skyports is currently working with Queensland and national authorities to formulate appropriate regulations. So the soonest we can expect air taxis to be running over Brisbane skies is 2023, but realistically, we're probably looking at another year or two after that. But still, that's not far away. It's unlikely, however, that these air taxis are going to be for like, you know, going out and grabbing a cup of coffee or something like that. Not at first, anyway. For now, most of the talk has been about transporting goods rather than people, particularly for defense or medical supplies, and also for commercial enterprises. That said, if you were to book a flight on an air taxi, the price is predicted to be somewhat more than a taxi, but cheaper than a helicopter. So how much is that? That's a pretty wide range. A 15 to 20 minute scenic helicopter ride in Brisbane will set you back about $200 without a discount. So that gives you a, some very big ballpark expectation. So I guess that means you're looking at something somewhere between $20 and $200. So what do you think of these plans? Would you take an air taxi? Let's uh, chat in the comments. Let me know what you think. It looks as though Brisbane is actually looking at activities that will make its self-given title of New World City actually a fitting one. And if you don't know much about Brisbane, then check out this video and subscribe to this channel because there's a whole lot of stuff about Brisbane here. And you know that giving the video a thumbs up will boost my self-esteem, but it also helps the channel. So I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one.